Nearly two weeks in and the Fort McMurray wildfires rage on. Tuesday morning, the Alberta government estimated the size of the fire at some 229,000 hectares. And by the time you see this, I wager that that number is bound to have grown significantly. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is even heading to Alberta to personally inspect the fires. As if to confirm, what, that they're real? That they're actual fires? I have no idea. But among all the confusion and frustration and the outpourings of grief and charity, there's another tendency that I've noticed in the press and on social media, one that strikes me as being entirely misguided. It's this idea of using the fires as some sort of abject lesson, whether it's about the perils of our rapacious resource economies or the blind eye we turn to global warming. Now admittedly, as someone who loves a good metaphor, fires raging through Canada's oil patch can be tough to resist. Its nature avenging itself on man's hubris. An Alberta politician called it karmic, a sign from God I've even seen it called. But it's important to remember that such symbolism doesn't actually exist in nature. I mean, a wildfire doesn't know that it's wreaking havoc on the hub of Canada's oil economy. It's not aware that it's allegorizing our ecological carelessness. Climate change scientists and activists have made their case using rationed, reasoned data and long, long-term studies. Citing one specific natural disaster as being somehow proof of climate change doesn't just undermine this rigor, it makes a cheap political point of the disaster. This risks further alienating some people from the harsh realities of climate science. To borrow a metaphor, it's like putting out a fire with, well, you get the point.